Nigeria is a sovereign country. And if there is any insecurity within the country, we are not supposed to play politics with it. Our mission to this embassy is to put forward to the ambassador a clear state of affairs in our country. We do not want politicians to use the insurgency in our country for political gain. In the United States, we did not discuss the visa ban because that has not got to do with entry of Nigerians into the U.S. It's for immigration visa. And the country has a right to say, we don't want you to come and live in our country. It has nothing to do with anybody. If you want to travel to the U.S., you can see people here in the embassy. Nigerians are still going to the U.S. There's a misconception that Nigerians have been banned from entering the United States. That is not true. It is for those who want to go there and leave. There's a process for that. He wants the Supreme Court to review the judgment in Imo State. And we have said it clearly that our law supports only the sleep rule. And the sleep rule does not permit the Supreme Court to obtain its judgment. The truth of the matter is that we have politicians who are desirous of victory at all costs. Zamfara State. The courts determined that a political party will not participate in Zafara State election. And they removed all their candidates. People did not go to protest. And the court now ruled that somebody was excluded. 388 polling units in somebody's major stronghold. It will be injustice on Senators or the for the court to overlook it. Today it may be him. Tomorrow it may be another person. The important thing is when you exclude any person from participating in an election, it is the duty of the court to reverse it. There is nothing the court can do now because the judgment of the Supreme Court is final. Nigeria. The citizens must understand that there is no color or race or religion when it comes to bomb blast. If there is any form of destruction, it affects everybody. Let us unite together and build Nigeria of our dream. The international community cannot help us if we don't help ourselves. And that is why we are here. We have already delivered a letter to the Ambassador of the United States here in Abuja stating clearly that in the case where politicians approach the Supreme Court and desire that the Supreme Court will do their bidding, the Supreme Court of Nigeria is known for integrity. We have confidence, implicit confidence in the judiciary. And that is very clear. If you go to the court and you don't present your matters well, the court cannot help you. Imo State's judgment has been dusted and settled. We don't expect politicians to call on the international community to interfere in our internal affairs. That is the message we have delivered, and we are committed to defending the good cause of the federal government of Nigeria at all times. That is the citizen's responsibility, and I think it is the patriotic thing to do. Today, we put it on record that Nigerians have implicit confidence in our judiciary. The insurgency is a battle that is confronting every nation of this globe, and it is not a conventional war that people will say we are going to defeat the insurgents within a month. It is something that is gradual and procedural, and we have confidence that our military will keep defending the integrity of Nigeria. Thank you for coming, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.